Hello everybody, I am Mode at West, and this is Near Automata once again. We're fighting Operator 210, who is apparently tried to become a combat unit just before the bunker went and got all blowy uppy. And yep. So yeah. Now she's Kinda harder to fight than an operator would be. So, you want me to kill? Who exactly do you want me to kill? Because the only person I'm trying to kill at the moment is you. So, you just keep on out. You go ahead and Smack me, why don't you? I'll just pop inside of you real quick, shoot up your circuits with all my goo. All of my shooty goo coming out of here. Destroying all of your face souls and your stuff, and now you go with Splodies. Uh huh. Well, if all you wanted was a family, why'd you have to be such a bitch when you was running operator mechanical shit? And, alright. Take your shit down, you're gonna explode again. Uh huh. It's alright. It's alright. Because. I'm going to kill you! So how does that make it all right? She wanted to be with you, so it's all right now because you're going to kill her. Makes sense to me, I guess, because you're a fucking nutbag now. 9S done went completely fucking nuts after 2B bit the big one. And now he's taking it out on unrelated people. And you are done. <laughs> well, how about that? Stealing my kill. Okay, just walk on Thanks out of here. To be told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. You... Don't you dare talk to me about two feet! Okay, bye then. Ooh, okay. Now A2 gets a boss fight. Where'd he go? Analysis. Your high unit 9S is still alive. Query. Why would Unit A2 be concerned with the status of Unit 9S after turning on your hub? Shut up! That's why. All the reason I need is because fuck you, Pod. You can't tell me what to do, though you can provide some useful information from time to time. Uh-oh. I don't want to be hit by that because that shit fucking hurt. There we go. Now you take that. Oh, you're clapping on me now with your fucking big old head hands. Uh, now he's got little dudes with buckets coming in to help him. Seems familiar, doesn't it? The way a little robot was hopping around with a bucket bringing oil to his brother. Yep. But that. Now I gotta kill them. Oh, all the sadness is happening. 
Lots of people I care about are getting killed, sometimes by me. And lasers. Okay, you got your bouncy heads going. Yep. Take out some of these guys so I can try and get some health back without having to use healing items. There we go. Yep, you're bouncing your heads again, ain't ya? Or you're just making them float around unpredictably. No matter, I'll kill your little brother, and then I'll go for you. Well, tell your brothers not to hurt me. How many androids do you think you've killed? Good question. Do you think begging for your lives will help? You think that's going to make me forget everything? Well, I'm not sure if this particular robot killed any. He might have. It's distinctly possible. They have been enemies for a very long time. So maybe this guy butchered some before coming off of the network. Assuming he's not attached to the network. But, yep, bouncy heads. I don't like the bouncy heads. Yep, there we are. And now my laser's all cooled down so I can blast away your little guys. And maybe do some damage to you on the side. Alright. So is that, yep, crazy ass serpent hands. Fine by me. That's pretty easy to dodge. Yep, he's a clapping. Clappy boy. Got that, got the robo clap going. Horrible disease, really. But it's fine. You make yourself very vulnerable when you send your heads very far away and just to chop you up some there we go don't you try and clap on me oh you're doing the fucking thing that I don't know how to dodge when I'm up close okay there we go he's down I really don't want to do this. But it's gonna make me do this, isn't it? Let's see. Yep, destroy the machine life forms. I gotta. The game tells me that I gotta. I didn't even do that. It, you just did that on your own. Bitch. So, where'd 9S end up? He fell down the thing. Contact initiated between pod 042 and pod 153. What is the matter, pod 042? This protocol is not an interface intended for conversational use. Acknowledged. However, this pod has a confidential transmission for pod 153. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between pod 042 and pod 153. Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. Message unclear. Clarification request. After repeated information exchanges between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We pods have developed unusually protective feelings towards support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. Query, could this be our will? Unknown, the definition of will is unclear. Will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination. Even if it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Whatever the case, we tactical support units 
have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty? Heh, you sounded like an android just there. And so do you, other pod. Throwing that little laugh in. Agreed. But just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Perhaps. Pod 153. Do not die. The concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. I also hope that you do not die, Pod 042. Yeah. Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. Yorha Unit 9S. Activate. <sighs> Oof, he Good says. Morning, 9S. Am I... Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Unit 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to current location. Uh -huh. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Black box signal not found. Hmm. Oh. Well, shit. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. Well, all right. That's what we went for. The required number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. Good to know. Good. Now, I wonder... Am I strong enough to actually aggro this guy? This is that hidden boss that I was talking about earlier. This fucking robot right here in an amusement park built by humans back before the aliens invaded and started sending out their machines. Which begs the question, why in the fuck? Would the humans build a statue that looks like one of the alien machines? They wouldn't. Now would they? I can hack this guy and cause him to explode, dealing some damage to the thing. Yeah, there you go. But I don't think that's enough. I'm just wailing on this thing. And it ain't waking up. Yep, yeah, I'll... Keep on trying, and I'll also save real quick right here because I can, and if he happens to wake up and murder the shit out of me, that would be a problem. So, yeah. All I gotta do is smack you some more. Eventually, you'll wake up, and then I'll just hack the shit out of you, and that'll get me a fuckload of levels. Though I am running out of patience. God damn. Yeah, this really shows you just how high of a level you gotta be to even have a chance against this thing. If you can't even fucking aggro the damn thing, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble trying to fight him. I hear there used to be an exploit where you could hack into a nearby robot and then use its body to daisy chain hack into him, but that got patched out. So, there's no doing that for me. Anywho, let's make our way to the tower. Because that is where we need to go. That's where we'll go to finish out the game. We're right here, knocking on the doorstep of the end. So let's just make our way there 
assuming I can remember which pipe leads where. I probably should have just went back to the fucking teleporter thingy. Back near the whatever it was. The fucking... The one thing that's in there near the fucking merry-go-round. That's what it was. I have arrived at the tower. So... Uh, yep. That's... Now I hack into it, don't I? Yeah, I break the lock and then I hack in. Yeah. Just bust your balls. Oh, and I only got 20 seconds to do this, so I gotta do it fast. I gotta bust them balls as quick as I can. There you go. You're shut down. And then we'll shut this one down. Yeah. So, yep. Carve my way through, looking for the ball. There it is, there's your ball. I broke your fucking ball. And then we'll get this one. You're damn right, tower subunit granted. Now I'm gonna carve through all your little defensy doos and kill the shit out of you from the inside, cause that's just how I do things. There you go. Kill all the little guys, cause they blocking me from the ball. There we go. Yeah. So now I can get into the tower itself. And I will go in there. Yeah, I'll go in there right after I go save real fast. Because there's a big battle coming up. Right as I attempt to hack the damn thing. Now let's get all up in there. Taking a good long time to hack. Oh boy. Yeah, probably. So, yep. That makes getting into the tower very difficult. So, yeah. I'll just hack you instead. You're so determined to get in the way of my hacking skills, then you'll be on the receiving end of them. Yeah. Um, alright. I'm... Yeah, you backed me into a very cornery corner right there. And now you get exploded. There we go. Nice Damn leveling it. up. They won't stop coming. Yep, there's even more. Alert. Allied signal detected. Huh. Allies? What kind of allies? Well... Wait, you? Yep. Seems a lot like something that happened in the original Nier, now doesn't it? Expecting you. They's helping! The two of us will take things from here. You need to open the door to the tower. Yeah, I will do that. But first, I think I left the oven on. What are you doing here? Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. No, we can't just abandon them. Sure we can. We, we left the oven on. They're gonna. Yep, going home. I'll be back. Leaving the zone of combat would mean abandoning the androids Devola and Popola. Proposal. Hack it. Damn. Looks like this is it. No. Yep. That's what happens if you just run away from that. Of course, Devola and Popola died. Their lifeless bodies were found shortly thereafter, each clutched tightly in the other's arms. Extra layer of sadness for ya. And with that, I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!